What's up? I see. Thanks. Yeah. This is the garage the bartender told us about, huh? Hey, what do you want? Huh? Where'd that voice come from? Yeah, I'm over here. Uh -huh. Whoa! Customers, what seems to be wrong with the vehicle? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here about my baseball bat. Well, there's your problem. That's not a car. Yeah, I realize that, uh, but... Wait, hold on! Revolve's bartender sent us. He said there's a one-of-a-kind mechanic here. Hmm... Ugh, why didn't you say that up front? I wasted a whole song and dance on you. Oh, so am I in the right place? If the bartender sent you, yes. We can offer a selection of non-vehicular maintenance services. Name's Julie. Michiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, shall I take a look at this bat? Please. Wow! Guy your age still walks around with a skullcracker like this? That's old school. In a cringy kind of way. Thanks. You can help, then? I'm used to modding guns, swords. <laughs> a bat is child's play by comparison. <sighs> oh well. Let's get on with it. What were you thinking? Show me. What is it now? What if I tried... Ha! Huh, shut up! I'm thinking! A little more... This is even better. Good! Holy... It's barely the same bat anymore! I got bored halfway through fixing it up, so I made some improvements. Better leverage here... It'll be a much deadlier instrument now. So, satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. It's so much easier to handle. I feel stronger somehow just from holding it. You're a miracle worker. No wonder the barkeep said you're the best he knows. Well, that was nothing special. Certainly nothing he couldn't do. Hmm? What'd you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Hey, Missy. I'm helping someone else right now, but the exit door is free to assist you. Don't test me, honey. I'm not going anywhere till I get some service. As I've already told you, we only work on vehicles here. Come back when you need an oil change. Enough bullshit. Everybody knows this is a weapons shop. 
Quit screwing with me! Even if this were the place you think it is, I reserve the right to refuse service to whomever I so choose. Leave. Fucking rat. This how you want to play it? <gasps> now give me some goddamn service, girl! Hey, you need to calm down. Hell, who are you? Just a customer. She's replacing my alternator. Settle down and I'm sure she'll be with you soon, yeah? You fucking tourist. <laughs> you got no idea where you are, do you? All right. How about I shoot you? Then I won't be cutting the line. Well, damn. That does sound reasonable. Let's try it. <laughs> You're a dead man. End of the line. Bring it on. Follow my lead. Time to take out the trash. Ow! Looks like I'm up. That's enough. I won't hold back. Time to put you down! Oh, you still can! You're... you're so strong! This shop's off limits to you from now on. Got it? Got it. Sorry, you won't see me again! You okay? <sighs> Happens sometimes. Word gets around. The kind of men who look for trouble are good at finding it. Still, I can usually turn them away without much difficulty. Appreciate you taking the bullet for me, though, so to speak. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess with skills like yours, a lot of guys would be interested in coming here. Mm-hmm. But my rule is only people the bartender gives the okay to. Oh, you and the bartender go back long? No, not very long, but, well, a lot's happened. I'm renting the space from him, actually. He's technically in charge. Is that right? He owns more than Revolve Bar, then, huh? Anyway, if it isn't clear, I'd like to keep our weapons work under wraps. I expect your discretion. Well, I suppose if the bartender trusts you, I should too. <laughs> we good, old man? Yeah, of course. All right if I come around again? Sure, you were useful today. I'll help you out. Only thing is, next time I'll have to charge, and you'll need to supply your own materials. If that's fine by you, Come again anytime. Oh, one more thing. Over in the Anaconda Center, there's a colleague of mine. I'll let them know you're allowed there too. Got it. Thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you again, Julie Chan. Julie Chan? Oh, sorry, of course of habit. Does that sound strange? No, no, I get it. It's a Japanese thing. I've just never heard that applied to me. I'm kind of flattered, honestly. Yeah, well. Just let me know if it's weird. No, don't worry. It's fine. Cool. Julie Chan it is then. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I'm surprised. Hmm. Yeah. Give me the biggest shave ice you got, please. Oh, of course, right away. Oh, which flavor you like, sir? No, no flavor. Just give me the ice. Um, all right. Just a moment. Ah, uh, here you go, sir. Uh, large shave ice, no flavoring. Oh, okay, much obliged.
Hey, mister. You, uh, overheating or something? Wouldn't want to catch a cold. Huh? Who are you? If you got a better idea, tell me. Otherwise, shove up! Sorry? Damn it. I ain't got time for this crap. Maybe if the ice were more powdery, it'd turn to snow. I gotta try! Did he say snow? I don't see many taxis cruising around Hawaii. Well, people tend to reserve rides from their hotels or catch one at a taxi port. Taxi drivers in Hawaii are generally a pretty friendly, good day. Plus, they got the lowdown on all the best spots, so feel free to ask them for good tips. <laughs> you're awfully knowledgeable. Almost as if you're a pro driver yourself there, Tommy. Hey, I'm a taxi driver to the bone. Just don't have a car at the moment. All right. What? Go. Hmm? Y yeah. Got it. Hmm?
Leave it to me. Thank you. Oh. What's up, Ichiban? Huh? Wait a sec. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Sure, whatever. As long as I get to fight. You were with those punks back in Yokohama. You got a rise out of me on camera. What was your name again? Asakura. The primetime MMA maestro. You telling me you've never seen my channel? Practically always trending. Oh, that does ring a bell. Asakura. I remember now. So, why's a busy guy like you out in Hawaii? On vacation? As if. No, I came out here for you. Me? Okay, what for? Remember what we said? Our next time's the real deal? Except there wasn't a next time after you vanished. And let me tell you, tracking you down's been a pain in the ass. Hold on. You're telling me you flew halfway across the ocean for a rematch? Ding, ding, ding. Ever since we threw down that day, I've been itching for another round. I want to go all out. No distractions, no holding back, no holds barred. It'll drive my viewers wild for sure. That reason enough for you. Now, are you gonna face me or what? You're persistent. Gotta give you credit for that. I'm guessing you won't take no for an answer? Of course not. Now shut up and fight me, Ichiban! Now show me what you got. The battle is on! Cool. Brace yourself! <laughs> Yeah! Open wide! Get lost! Cool! Brace yourself! Yeah! <laughs> this sucks! Rock. Wow, that was disappointing. <sighs> Gotta hold it together. Torn out already, huh? Much better. Stronger. <clears throat> Sup?
What? Yeah. Hey, buddy! You okay in there? Oh, Kasuga-san, wasn't it? How about that? <laughs> you saved me! Uh, uh, what? Aren't you? My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. I ran into this Yakuza boss once at a specialty club back in the Jean show. He and his whole clan were into dressing up like babies. The Gondawara family? Was that them? Right. What are you doing here, sir? I'm here with the kids on vacation, of course. Gondawara family has an excellent benefits package. And what better place to get pampered than in paradise? I was just enjoying a baby's day out with this lovely sitter I found. 
sudden. My stroller starts strolling off on its own terms, you believe it? I could steer in a hair. They don't make these things with brakes. Hell, even made a big old baby like me damn near wet himself. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad you're safe, sir. Catch you later. Ooh, wait, hold on a second. I told you this thing's no luxury sedan. Stroll me back to Mama. Nanny Lillian, baby's scared. <laughs> baby needs ya. Ugh, this really isn't why I came to Hawaii. Boss! Sick bastard. What kind of monster kidnaps a baby? What? No, I didn't! I'm the one who rescued him! Tell them! Come on! Nap time now? Can't you just drop the baby routine for one second? Let's tuck the streak in, boys! Permanently! Damn it! How did it come to this? Yeah, it's just like it's tear. Okay, you asked for it. Something right. Don't get caught. Got you now. Armed and ready. Follow my lead. It's over. Let's rock. So, see I won't hold back. We get scared. Think you can handle this? Who plays the most? No, don't, don't come any closer. Follow my lead. You're in it now. So that again. Are you getting scared? Don't get caught. 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 You're in it now. Healing up. Yeah. Open water. I won't hold that. What's the hold up? 
Gotcha now. Armed and ready. Let's go. Follow my lead. No holding back. Time to put you down. Brace yourself! No dying allowed! Let's run! Thanks. Hey, thanks. Looks like I'm up. Want some? I won't hold back. Time to take out the trash. Follow my lead. I'll take you on. Cool guys, the also is it? Open one. This ought to help. I won't hold back. Cool. Looks like I'm up. Follow my lead. Stop. <laughs> On to the next level. Doing better. Who knew than I, I had it in me? Hey, I'm even stronger now. Yes. I see. No. Hmm?
<laughs> Thank you. Okay. Usually there's a huge music festival held here every year, but recently they keep getting canceled due to storms. Oh, what a bummer. Would you call yourself a music lover, Tommy? I mean, who doesn't like music? Mostly I'm a fan of that festival atmosphere. Loud songs play non-stop while you get down with your favorite drink. That's fun, because it feels so free. Man, I can't wait to go again. Well, in that case, we'll just have to beat the rain with the power of some Teru Teru Bozu. Teru Teru to do what now? It's like a voodoo doll, but for weather. The secret weapon to controlling the skies. Oh, we're making voodoo dolls and weapons now. We're really opening up. I I'm here, Ellie. How are you feeling? Uh, I met a nice man while I was out today. A uh, castle guy, his name is. He's from Japan. Uh, he was willing to hear me go on and on about everything. Never laughed or made fun. In fact, he even wanted to help. You know, there was nothing in it for him, but he still wanted to make the world a bit better. Like some noble prince out of a storybook. Hey, you'd laugh if you saw him. He doesn't exactly look or carry himself like royalty. <laughs> huh. Wonder if I was ever that good to anyone. Ellie, was I ever a prince to you? I spent so much time working. I could have spent it with you. I should have. It was supposed to be time now. That was the deal. But a prince wouldn't have made you wait. It, it's too hot in here. I'll open the window, okay? <laughs> you were... You were always my prince. From the first day we ever met. Ellie? Thank you. There were times you were gone longer than I wanted, but I always felt you with me. Your kindness and your love. I knew you were only working because you loved me. You wanted to provide. I was never alone. As long as I had that. Ellie! Now don't look so sad. It's beautiful. <sighs> Thank you, Kasuga. Mr. Gandawara. Gondawara family, let's do it! This, this is some hard work, I know, but it's worth it! Yeah! Boss, what if we run out of diapers? Dumb question. If it comes down to it, we'll use the ones we got on too. Even if we end up ass cheek naked, we're seeing this through. Yes, yes sir! sir. I can't believe it. It's just as beautiful as our trip to Japan. It's really snow. Orlando, 
You're not just a prince. You're a magician. No, you, you got that right. For you, I could do anything. I made snowfall in Hawaii. So then, ask me for something else. Anything at all. Just, just say the word. No, it's enough. You've already made me the happiest woman in the world. Thank you. No, 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 there's gotta be something more. I, I can, I, I can... Uh... I only have one last wish. Anything! Will you smile? I want to see your smile again before I fall asleep. Surrounded by beautiful snow, I would hate for my prince to look unhappy. Please, for me. Of course, anything. You deserve it all. Good night, my love. Ellie. I think the snow is melting. Our wish. I'm sure of it. We gave them a miracle tonight. Somehow. You're right. <laughs> we just made it snow in Hawaii. All the buzzes. They filming something here? Sorry if you're trying to get through. You see, we've rented out this place, the entire mall, actually, to film the latest edition of our variety show. Oh, no kidding. Sounds pretty big budget. Oh yeah, you betcha. It's a special program with a ton of backers. It's called Anaconda Escape. Anaconda Escape, huh? You never heard of it? In Japan, it always draws in viewers by the thousands. Once a year, we rent out the Anaconda Shopping Center and have celebrities participate in what's essentially a huge escape room. I uh, must have slipped my radar. Maybe it's worth watching if it's so popular. I'll have to tune in later. Please do. We're about to start filming the Challengers round. It's for regular folks who want a chance to compete after a rigorous screening process. This year's player is wild. The man's been dubbed Mr. Anaconda. He's so dedicated, he actually built a training course in his backyard just to practice for today. Oh, sounds like quite the spirited. What? Get out of here. 
Kawamoto-san backed out? Oh, you're seriously telling me this seconds before we start filming? The celebrity shoot is set for next week. There's absolutely no way we can reschedule. No, but my hands are tied. That thing hung up on me. Shit. Imara-san, what was that all about? Uh, Onishi-chan. Get this shit. So, you know that guy Kawamoto-san, our participant for the Challengers round? The Mr. Anaconda guy. Yeah? We're gonna start recording a segment now, right? Yeah, about that. Turns out he's been suddenly stricken with gout. And I can hardly walk. Wait, what? Holy crap, poor guy. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. I hear gout's excruciating. Ugh. Apparently, he's obsessed with the food here in Hawaii and has been wolfing down shrimp and beer like it's nobody's business. Damn, cow, unbelievable glutton. Uh. Uh. Well, what's done is done. Whether Kawamoto-san gets better or not, we're down to the wire here. We need a replacement. Stat! Oh. And who do we have here? Oh, him? He was just passing by. I was telling him a little bit about the show. Hmm, not a celeb. At least not that I know of. Pretty fit, too. You know, this just might work. Screw it. Let's do it. Hey, buddy, how'd you like to appear on Anaconda Escape as our new challenger? For me? Yeah! Wait, do you really be okay with that? What happened to that rigorous screening process or whatever. I'd be skipping right over that. Not at all, my good man. Based on my impeccable producer's instinct, you pass with flying colors. Congratulations, friend. Please give it a chance. We only have today to record this segment. There's no, there's no going back. Will you do it? Will you rise to the challenge? Perhaps a luxurious prize would sweeten the pot. I don't know. Rises aside, I don't know the first thing about this game. Huh, starting from scratch, are we? Well then, allow me to explain. Put simply, it's an escape room, complete with riddles at every turn. One reviewer said, a fierce game of cat and mouse through a maze-like mall. Make your dashing escape towards the goal and claim a fancy prize. <laughs> Easy enough and tons of good fun. All right. Wow, it does sound like a good thrill, but uh, who exactly is going to be chasing me? Ah, take a look over there. Oh. Some kids from the local college track and wrestling teams, they help out every year. Uh, just a heads up, each one is a beast in their own right. I can see that. So those are the guys I'm up against? Yeah, it's no fun if it's too easy. Gotta put the pedal to the metal for that prize. Don't worry, there are tons of escape strategies available. You just have to use that noggin a little. It's a guaranteed blast once you get going. Okay then, looks like I'm in for a wild ride. We're counting on you, Challenger. <clears throat> uh, what was your name again? It's Kasuga. Kasuga-san, brilliant. I'm Imada, the producer. Seems our meeting was an act of fate. All right. So then, Kasuga-san. Ready to tackle Anaconda Escape? I'm ready. It sounds cool, so I'm going all in. Oh, you're the best. I owe you one. Though, full disclaimer, I'm just a regular guy. I don't know the first thing about acting, so... Not exactly TV material, you know? Ah, nothing to fret over. Our show's selling point is unfiltered entertainment. Don't worry about looking good for the cameras. Just get out there and enjoy yourself. Ah, with that, Onishi-chan, I leave the rest of the explaining to you. I've got to get everything else set up. Right, let me go over the finer details. Yeah, that'd be great.
Yes. Okay. Totally. The battle is on! Cool! Brace yourself! This is how you do it! Win to be proud! Let's do it! The battle is on! Let's do it! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Talking about goal! <laughs> Flawless! Whoa, what's all this? Congratulations! You did it! Here, here! Congrats! Congratulations! <laughs> that was epic! Yes! Congratulations! Congrats indeed! Thanks, everyone. Once again, Kasuga-san, fantastic job. You're our totally random last-minute pinch hitter, but you really delivered. You really put up a fight there, Kasuga-san. Watching your nail-biting escape efforts made my palms all sweaty. I'm just glad I made it to the goal. I wish I could have done more quizzes and stuff, but I wasn't really sure I had the time. Yeah, it definitely takes smarts and speed to get through it. But nice job, you really outdid yourself. We captured plenty of great material for the show. You really saved our hides. As promised, here's your prize. As far as I can tell, this broadcast is gonna be a smash hit! A new star's been born among our challengers. I think so, too. So, about next year's show... Mr. Anaconda Reborn versus Gentle Giant Kasuga-san! Oh, wouldn't that send ratings through the roof? That's pure genius! Shall I start drafting a proposal? Whoa, wait, wait, guys. I'm just a stand-in. Plus, I'm sure more people out there want to compete. Might as well give them a fair chance, right? Hmm, that's certainly true. You're a good guy, Kasuga-san. But if you're ever interested, we'd love to have you again. I'm sure the production team will snatch you up right away. Maybe one of these days, but for the time being, I'm gonna hold off. What? Yeah, I know Yonakura. He's our cyclist for the televised journey across America. What do you mean he's got hemorrhoids? They're so bad he'd bleed out the second his ass touches a bicycle seat? <sighs> but that's supposed to follow hot on the heels of Anaconda Escape. Hey, Kasuga-san. You like bikes, right? I think I've had enough travel for now. Thanks. Yo, Kasuga, aloha! Don't aloha me. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of... Uh, Suji science. So... What's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please, take the elevator. What the hell? Indeed. It's an underground coliseum. The Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Sujimi, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. 
the guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <clears throat> is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. No, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! <sighs> this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three Mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer whose Sujimon defeat their opponents. A three-on-three -three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the League's highest-ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King. King, huh? Look at him. Oh, no time for that now. The match is starting. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt He's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat! Koichi Idano! And his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kum Taurus, who never stays down! Ichibon Kasuga! Uh, me? What the hell's going on, Sensei? I'll admit I've always been the type to beg forgiveness than ask permission. I'll explain later. You just need to win! Wait, win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei, I haven't got any Sujimon. Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum. Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me, his student Kuraki. And I'm his most positive and energetic student, Yokawa. Who the hell are these guys? Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion. And a Sujiman in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sorta... went bust. Thankfully, the Sujiman sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me a little check, I'm here to help him out once more. The Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excels at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents don't look so tough. Just give Sodachi-san and his boys some guidance and trust them. You can win! Seriously? Jeez. You better not give me any crap if I lose. 
And without further ado, this Sojimon League rookie match is on! Let's give it everything we got! Go right up! All right, boys, charge! It's on! Who's ready to see some jacked up weirdos beat the Suji snot out of each other? The next move could be fatal for the attacker, the defender, hell, for the audience. Here comes a ha! doozy. Oh, baby! The crowd's ready for something big. Back to the drawing board. Time huh? to die. Let's do this! Let's wrap up this victory and smile! The winner is the Kasuga team! Oh, we did it! Sweet, sweet victory. Whew. How the hell did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. I knew you had what it takes. Knew it in my bones. Hmm. Couldn't be. Wait, that guy. That's Professor Morikasa, isn't it? Uh, oh shit, it's really him. The former champion. I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now? Or isn't he? How intriguing. The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay, okay. Morikasa-san. <sighs> that got out of hand, Kasuga. I'm sorry. No shit! What the hell was all that? I need some details here, Sensei. Right, I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Suji League champion. Oh, <laughs> it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the League was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. 
I was proud to be its champion. But since the Suji League Committee was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League Committee? Uh, did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best. Become Suji League Master and win the championship! The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right! Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sodachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Is that really how people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to boot. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth, you know. They've ruined the lives of countless poor Sujimon, all swallowed up by the system. And I am the Sujimon Sensei. As I told you before, I seek world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujimon brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. I'm asking a lot, I know. But you're the only one who can help. Hmm. All right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Kasuga, words fail me. <laughs> Hey, hey, come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> I always cry when someone else cries. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works. I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Hmm. You'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. So Dachi-san and his pupils are three, so I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? It really has to be that rough? Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Sujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. A raid? It's a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuga, go over there and flex. D why Look, raid dwellers respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, find some other way to display your vim and vigor, and then win their hearts. Just start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Oh, right. I'm sorry. 
Anyway, get to it, Sujimon Master Kasuga. I I'll give it a shot. Come on! I'll die. Alright, let's go! I won't hold back. Cool! Not a new one! Now scram while you still can! You want some more? Go. Token of friendship. How about it? Are you sure? Gotta go with my gut here. I like your style. You got me in. All right, I caught a Sujiban. Or, or something like that. <laughs> well done, Kasuga. That's the way. From now on, if a Sujimon hangs around after defeat, try recruiting them to your team. Just remember that not all Sujimon will join you. Consult this list here to see who's eligible. Take a look at it now. I think I get it. But don't I also have to help them get stronger? A simple way to improve your Sujimon is to shove some Sujimunch down their gullets. However, it's better to raise them up in battle. If you spot rival trainers in the city, try taking them on. As you defeat other trainers, your ranking in the league will increase. At a high enough rank, you can even challenge the fearsome discreet four. The current champion, King, sits at the very top of that peak. You'll have to dispatch the rest first. Is this gonna take long, you think? Nah, with me by your side, it'll be a cakewalk. Let's go grind, knock out the four, and then we'll all take a trip to Suji Land. <laughs> there, there's not really a Suji Land, right? So don't you say that. One more thing. Let me install the Suji League app on your phone. You should find it quite useful. All right. I guess I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Kasuga. This is it. You must travel across the land, searching far and wide. Catch Sujimon, become a man. I'll wait here inside. Uh, are those lyrics? It, it's it's something I've been working on. Forget it. Go catch those mons, Kasuga. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, you made it. Finally feel like doing your job for once. Piss off. So you can really get us in a District 5? Call me out all you want. Either way, it's time. No more of this standing around. Let's go. Besides, he's our only lead right now. He got me there. Well, after you, Roman. <laughs> Shit. You sure it's cool if we're here? Here's a question. What the hell you want with District 5 anyway? 
My passport got stolen. Guess the thief used it as a bargaining chip to get inside. Huh. Well, you're wasting your time, then. Once something's in the Barracuda's hands, getting it back is practically suicide. I'm actually after the person who stole it. I'm gonna catch him and ask a few questions. Oh, that right? Hey, what's the holdup? Get this thing open already. Who the fuck are they? Uh, just some Japanese tourists with more money than sense. So they want to see a different side of Hawaii. <laughs> Come on. Not like you've got anything to hide in there, right? Open the gate. Okay, get your asses ready for a special guided tour. Let's hope this tour's a round trip situation, yeah? Don't lag behind, unless you want to end up as a casualty. <laughs> uh... This area was slated for redevelopment, but it got delayed due to a dispute over who owns the land. Still, no matter what country you're in, once something's abandoned, a homeless come knocking. This place became a shanty town in the blink of an eye. It's close to a lot of tourist attractions, so the government's almost always trying to clear it out. But with people coming in from all over the world, their little game of cat and mouse just keeps on going. Then the Barracudas rolled in, and, well, you can see how that turned out. Yeah, Hawaii's the last place I'd expect something like this. You would think, but a lot of these people come here on a one-way trip. They give their passports to the Barracudas in exchange for a stable place to live. But if they give up their passports, then how do they get back home? They don't go back home. District 5's got everything they could ever want. Shops, a hospital, cafeteria. The Barracudas have set up their own laws and infrastructure here. From the government's point of view, it's more convenient for the homeless to be under Barracuda control than to let them roam the streets. Yeah, but doesn't it cost money to use the shops and all? Where are these people getting the money? Uh, they have their ways. So, you got any leads on your passport thief? Yeah, she's a 20-something Japanese woman. Her name's Chitose, kind of hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, sure. That ought to narrow it down. Hey. Did you see a Japanese woman come through here? Goes by Chitose? Japanese? I actually might know something about that. What do you got? A few days ago, some guys got into a scuffle over in West Block. Apparently a woman showed up out of the blue. Not every day you see a little Asian cutie like her in a dump like District 5. Anyway, she was all by herself with nowhere to stay didn't have a mind to bring a tent. As you can guess, the fight broke out real quick over who got dibs in that one. Huh. Who'd the gal end up staying with? Don't know. Wasn't there to see the mayhem. Best bet is to ask around West Block. <laughs> it just had to be West Block. Huh? What's West Block? A sector all the way at the ass end of District 5. A lot of bums like to drink and gamble there. Real rough crowd on a good day. You really think so? Is she gonna be okay? Actually, it's a smart move on her part. Pal up to the strongest guy on that end, and it's easy living from there on. Of course, nothing comes for free. Even in a rat hole like this. <laughs> and you seriously call yourself a cop? <sighs> anyway, West Block's waiting. Let's go. Hey. What? Huh. 
Sup? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. Sup? Sup? Hi. What? Uh, cure your sign. I get ya. Thanks. <laughs> huh, clouds are gone. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You Japanese? You're Jose, right? We're looking for a woman named Chitose. You know her? You got a thing for my girl? You just say his girl? Look, I I'm not here to mess with whatever you got going on. I just want to ask her something. So, can I see her? <laughs> Buzz off. I decide who she sees, and I say no. Come on, man, this is important. The girl stole my passport. I just want it back. I see. You're from the outside and came to steal her back. That it? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Well, you better think twice, pal. No way I'm letting that sweet little thing go. Man, what part of I just want my passport do you not get? Open your ears. I just want to ask her something and go. We're done here. Hey, boys! 
Get rid of these clowns. Hey, hang on. We got the police with us. Hey, Roman, do something, will you? <laughs> like I'd throw myself between a gang of homeless goons and some no-name foreigners. I only serve the American public, friendo. I am an American, you ass! Gosh, you full of shit! Yeah, well, you brought this on yourselves. But hey, best of luck. If you pull through, we'll keep on with the tour. Here you, son. How are you holding up? Aside from wishing I'd kept my mouth shut? Might help to stop asking how I'm doing every five seconds. Hey, can you blame me? Don't worry about me. Let's just end this quick. Right. I'm cool. I can do this. I can do this! Now, have at him! Don't get smart with me. Let's do it! I won't hold back. Think you can handle this? Alright. I'll take it. On. Let's go. Here I come. Learning more every day. All right, Jose son. <sighs> if you're really in love with Chitose, you gotta choose your words carefully. Understand? Huh? For starters, don't ever call her your girl, not even by accident. You don't want to mess up like I did, right? Uh, sure. So, where's Chitose? Uh, well, you see, she, well, she ran off. She ran off? It was that first night. She was offering me drinks. Got a little carried away and sipped one too many. I've heard that story before. Hey, she drugged me, okay? And wait. If that happened on the first night, then... All right, look, I didn't bang her or nothing. You happy? She was gone before I knew it. Uh, Yet yeah, you still went around bragging like she was your property. What an asshole. Anyway, then what? She was asking me about the Barracudas and how she could meet them and whatnot. So I told her how to get to the underside. Wait, you told some girl who just wandered in how to get into the underside? More like, I let it slip out. Yeah. Oh, idiot. Well, hold up. What's the underside? Sorry, boys, the tour's over. Just, just forget about the girl. Oh, man, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> but we come too far. What the hell's the underside? You tuck down, you. 
Let's just call it here. You stick your neck out any further, and the axe is gonna fall real fast. We can't do that. I'm taking back what's rightfully mine, and she's got some answers to give. We don't have much time. If Chitos is in this underside, then show us how to get there. Sorry, but you don't get a say in this. Fine. But promise me one thing. From here on, no more funny business, you hear me? You move when I say so, and keep your mouths shut. That depends on what kind of place we're going. Now, show us the way. Shit. Okay. Follow me. Hey, Roman. The way you talk about the underside. Is it really that bad? Oh, uh, what? The scowl on my face didn't clue you in enough? Come on, let's just try to get along. You know, I'd be a lot more agreeable if you just gave up. That'd be easier, sure. But this isn't a game for us. Is that right? Then at least shut up. We're going down. Party of four. The boss give you the okay? Don't give me that shit. You want me to take you out of here in cuffs? This is it. A gateway to a damn near parallel universe. A uh, sewer, huh? Thought <laughs> you said parallel universe. Just stick close, smartass. Roman, what the hell do you want? Nothing. Just a bit of sightseeing. And who are they? Sightseers. What else? Okay, hold on. You even run this by the boss? Hey, do me a solid, won't you? I promise. We'll behave. Huh. <laughs> Behavior only gets you so far. The Anaconda Shopping Center? I see. So this is the underside of District 5. It used to be an air raid shelter, built after you boys bombed our asses at Pearl Harbor. But it went untouched, and now it's just another relic of the war. Fast forward a half century to when the Barracudas came across it. Remodeled it in no time flat. <laughs> Why'd they want to recreate a big famous mall underground now? And who the heck are all these customers? Who's doing their shopping down here? Take a closer look. A fashion show? Whew. Designer brand, too. She's all decked out. Uh, is she? Oh, you serious, dude? The code itself is easily worth 10 grand. And them? What are they doing? Bidding. The stuff she's wearing is the merch, and the audience surrounding her is the buyers. The, but, but then, why would anyone come down here just to shop? Uh, hang on a sec. 
Is all this stuff stolen? I'd say stolen's putting it lightly. Everything you see here, no matter how real it looks, is a District 5 original. Made in-house. There are knockoffs? Oh, they're more than just your average knockoffs. These are perfect replicas, down to the very last stitch. Patterns on the fabric included. Crazy bastards smuggle it out of the actual factories. How? I have no idea. That is crazy. One could almost say they do designer brands better than the designers. And that's what makes this the greatest counterfeit market on Earth. As well as the biggest. The world's biggest counterfeit market. And the buyers? They're aware of that? Of course. And not only that, but they're legitimate employees. They're the actual buyers for the department stores you know and love. They come in from the mainland, Japan, heck, all over the world. You mean everything they buy here goes up on the shelves? Yeah, the buyers pass them off as the real thing and sell it straight to the stores themselves. And the difference in price goes directly into their pockets. A single trip could net them hundreds of thousands of dollars. No matter how good of a buyer you are, I'm sure it's hard to resist the appeal. Meanwhile, the customers don't have a clue. They throw money left and right without even batting an eye. The best part is, they don't even care if it's real or not. For most of these people, all that matters is that they bought an expensive brand from a famous department store. The act itself is what keeps them going. Uh, wait. Uh, here's a question. How'd all these people even get down here? You telling me they trudge through the sewers dressed like that? <laughs> They have their own special way in. Can't tell you more than that, though. Is everything in that window a counterfeit, too? Yep. They've got a factory pumping this stuff out 24-7. I see. And they're putting the homeless up top to work. Bingo. The pay outright sucks, but it's enough to make it by in District 5. Well, it's wild. I'll give you that. But still, where the heck's Jitose? I don't see her here. Well, let's dig a little deeper. So this is where they cook up all the counterfeits. Looks like no one's home. I thought it's supposed to be running 24-7. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, Roman! Hey, who you got there with you? Oh, these guys? <laughs> they're, they're, they're no one. Anyway, what happened here? You shut the whole place down? Yeah, didn't want to stain the merchandise. Stain it? <laughs> oh, come on, man. You don't think that I would... <laughs> I really thought you could bring in outsiders to the core of our operation, Vendeo! I think it's you're no ordinary tourists. Now start talking. Or would you rather spill your guts for real? All right. We're looking for a girl named Chitose. You ever heard of her? Kill him. I'll sue you! I don't know if I can do this. I won't hold back. Let's go! Time to take out the trash. Do your work. Don't go down now. Let's go! Use it. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Let's go. Open wide. <laughs> Looks like I'm up. I'm losing blood fast. Oh, 
follow my lead. Time to put you down! Much for. Damn it! Guess we ought to scram for now. No, we keep moving. What? If Chitose's here, then she'll be further in. Yeah, but bust down the door like that? We have no idea what's waiting for us. If we turn back now, we're not getting back in. He's right. Ah, shit. Okay, fine. Right behind you. Let's go. I'll bury you! Bring it on. Follow my lead. Time to take out the trash. Come get them! Come on! Time to put you down! Okay, 
I think that's all of them. All right. No turning back now. Gotta keep moving. Yeah. Glad to have you with us. What? What? You're really pissing me off. Bring it on. I won't hold back. You're in it now. All right. <laughs> Look at this little piss baby. Come on. Time to put you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Want some? Cool. Suck on this. Follow my lead. Looks like I'm up. Win to be uh, uh, now scram while you still can. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. <clears throat> the hell do you right. want? You man. won't get any mercy. Okay, yeah. you asked for it. Cool. All right. Break yourself. Here I go. <laughs> I won't hurt that. Eyes on me. Alright. I'll take you on. Hmm? Got you now. Armed and ready. <laughs> Follow my lead. Who knew I had it in me? <sighs> you seriously? I'll help you rescue. The battle is on! I won't hold back. Don't get caught! Don't wuss out it, now. It's over! I it won't stop bleeding. All right. What's Come on. Hold up? Got you now. Get <laughs> out of here. Cool. Open wide. Should I open it? Got it! I can handle anything. Bring it on! Bring it on! Looks like I'm up. Here I come. <laughs> Follow my lead. Think you can handle this? I won't hold back. We get scared. No holding back. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Break yourself. <laughs> All right. Let's go! 
follow my lead. Looks like I'm up. Not an enemy in sight. Now scram while you still can. I think I'm getting stronger. How big is this place? Sheesh. Oh, beats me. Oh, curious son. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Shoot, we got company. We'll hide in there. Where'd they go? They're gone. They've got to be in here. Find them. So far, we need a plan. <sighs> yeah, we do. Believe me, you're not the only one. <gasps> it's been a minute, Kasuka-san. How's Hawaii treating you? Chitose-san! <gasps> Chitose? You mean this is her? This is the girl that tricked you and stole your shit? More importantly, she's the only person who has a connection to Akane-san. I didn't expect her to come to us herself. These two are new to me. Friends of yours, Kasuka-san? I'm Chitose. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, pleasure's all mine. So what are you even doing here? The surface is one thing, but this is something else. Well, I've got my reasons. But if you want the quick version, the Barracudas are after me. The Barracudas want you? The heck did you do? If I had to guess, it's because I know too much. About their counterfeiting gig? Huh? No, Akane-san. They're after her too, you know. Wait, they're what? Kasuga, don't you remember what Yamai said? Right. He was also looking for Akane-san. Man, what the hell? What? Is every lowlife on the island in on this? Jitose-chan, do you think you could tell us more? Got it. Hey there. Ah. Hello. Uh-huh. Right. Probably should go through things in order. I was at Akane-san's four days a week. She hired me to do housework. But about ten days ago... Actually, it's been twelve days. 
She up and disappeared without warning. Twelve days ago. Were there any signs you could see it coming? Nope. That day I went to her house like always, but the door was locked and nobody was home. I thought she just stepped out to run an errand or something, but the next day and the day after, she was still gone. Did you call the police at all? No. You see, exchange students in Hawaii aren't exactly allowed to have part-time jobs. If I'd reported it, they might have figured out I was working here illegally. Meaning, when I went to the house, Akane-san was already long gone. So, wait, what were you still doing there? Akane-san never gave me my last paycheck. And it was a whole month's worth, too. I went in to get it for myself. Akane-san told me where she kept the money, and also how she had a spare key under the doormat. Sure enough, that was when you showed up. If that was the case, why didn't you just tell me what happened? Right, like you would have believed me with all that? <sighs> yeah, good point. If you reported me to the police, I'd have been screwed. That's trespassing and robbery. All things considered, I had to get you out of there. And that's why you got me wasted off my ass and dumped me on the beach? Eh, more or less. Okay, but was stripping me down really necessary? Thanks to you, my naked ass got jumped by the police! That was the plan. You'd be so caught up in trying to protect yourself, you wouldn't even have time to chase me down. Guess that's one way to do it. Anyway, what are you doing here in District 5? Well... Oh, what? Don't clam up now! You guys gotta promise. Not a word of this to anyone else, okay? You want us to promise? You got any idea what we've been through? All right, we promise. Hey, Kazuga! Sure, she might have set me up, but it's got nothing to do with the fact that she's got a secret to keep. Right now, our priority is to find out what's going on, yeah? <sighs> That's how you see it. I guess an outsider like me ought to hush up. Hey, you're anything but. Thanks, Tomizawa. All right, we promise to keep quiet. Can you tell us why you came? <sighs> okay. But remember, you don't tell anyone, got it? Got it. Don't sweat. The boss would always compliment me on how well I could keep a secret. Huh? Sure, whatever. The reason I came to District 5 it has to do with my family. Your family? Back in Japan? Do you know the name Fujinomiya at all? Uh, can't say I do. Hang on. The Fujinomiyas are major players in Japan's economy. <sighs> Figures one of you would know. If only everyone were more like Kasuga-san. Things wouldn't be so tough. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. So... So, I'm the eldest daughter of the Fujinomiya family. And, as it turns out, I'm the top candidate for their successor. Wait, so like, you're some super sheltered rich girl? <laughs> well, if you want to put a label on it. Uh, but yeah, basically. Sure, coming from a famous family has its perks. But in reality, they're all just a bunch of lunatics who will do whatever it takes to keep up the family name. That's a prestige thing, huh? That's not too different from the Yakuza. If you ratted me out to the police, and my family found out about my part-time job... Just thinking about it, I... It's terrifying. Of course, I knew District 5 was dangerous coming in. But I heard that once you're inside can essentially disappear. Even the police can't get their hands on you. That's why after I got you zonged, I immediately skipped over here. Word around town was that you needed a passport to get in. Oh, so the reason you took all my stuff was partly to get at my passport. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I get it. It makes sense, but man, that's one reckless stunt you pulled. 
was desperate. And it's not like I don't feel bad, you know? One thing I don't get. Your family's totally loaded, right? Why would anyone bother to go through all that trouble for a month's pay at a part-time job? Your folks can just wire you however much you want, right? Here's the thought. Why do you think rich people actually get rich? No clue, actually. It's because they're stingy. Huh. Okay. Well, it's pretty clear why you set up Kasuga. Next, let's hear about why the Barracudas are out to get you. I'm sure there's a story there. Okay, so apparently it's rare for someone like me to turn up around here. Soon as I entered District 5, they took me straight to the guy in charge. Wait, wait! You mean the Barracudas boss? Yeah. And after we talked, he seemed to take a liking to me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't look too unhappy about it. What then? Well, then, the boss decided to keep me at his hideout. And by keep, you mean... Look, I'm sure you can piece it together for yourself. Anything was better than having my family find out. At least, that's what I told myself. But it was kind of a bust. He never even made a move. I mean, maybe he's just been stressed out or something. <laughs> the hell do I say to that? They gave me a room and everything, but I was bored out of my mind in there. They told me not to leave the room, but I snuck out and explored a bit anyway. Next thing you know, I find this in the boss's study. That's... Akane-san! There's all kinds of info about her on here. Dress, phone number, height, facial features... Ew, hey, wait a, wait a second! Yamai had this too! Right. He's after her, same as these guys. What's it all mean? Why are all these gangsters chasing after Akane-san? I don't know. But it's worth noting I found this in the trash. That probably means he doesn't need this anymore, right? More than that, couldn't it mean the Barracudas actually got to her? Ugh. With that in mind, I thought there might be a chance they were holding her somewhere nearby. That's why I started snooping around all their factories and stuff. But a bunch of lackeys caught on to me, and now I've been branded some kind of traitor. <sighs> Long story short... Talk about reckless. Really, I'm just glad I was able to meet up with you guys. You're on the run too, right? Why not team up? I'll show you the way out of here. And in exchange, you guys will be my bodyguards. Sound good? Whoa, slow down a second, all right, princess? Kasuka, whatever you decide to do, I'm with you. The Barracuda's boss and I got a score to settle. And I say it's time. All the more so. Now that Roman is dead. Hear you, son? It's your call. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Chitose chan. Can you show us the way? But not the way out. I want to see the boss man first. What? Did you hear a word I said? What, you want to take the scenic route for this guy? No. Actually, I'm choosing this for myself. Akane-san might be my flesh and blood mom. And I'm not gonna abandon her. Simple as that. And if you're too scared to go back, would you at least point us in the right direction? Are you serious about this? Yeah. Truth be told, I'm worried about Akane-san too. If she hadn't hired me, I'd probably be face down in a gutter somewhere. Then... That said, there's no point in rushing to our deaths. If things get dangerous, we bail. Okay? Okay. Counting on you, Chi-chan. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Chi-chan, it's a nickname. You've never had a girlfriend, have you? Wait, how'd you know that? <laughs> never mind. Let's do it, Ichiban. Okay, follow me.
Kasuga. Hey, don't sweat it. I told you. I'm doing this one for me. Mind lending a hand? Right. Thanks. Let me out. Chichan. Hi.
you want. Let's go! Ready to rumble! Okay, I'm up. Let's go! Something Prepare wrong. yourself! Follow my lead. Cool. Sure, I'll play with you. Show me what. All right. I'll take you on. Here I come. Armed and ready. I won't hold back. Uh, that crazy old one in the back. <laughs> On to the next level. <sighs> Let's get serious. What you looking at? Run on home to mama. Let's do it. Okay, I'm up. <laughs> You're all mine. Right. Follow my lead. Do your work. Huh? Oh, you're a I'm waiting. <laughs> Oh, you still can. Should I open it? Sweet. Pissing me off. Ready to rumble. 
Okay, I'm up. Do your worst. What's the hold up? You're in it now. <laughs> Do your worst. Looks like I'm up. Yeah. Here I come. Eight. Cool. Open one. Follow my lead. Something wrong? What? That's all you got? Huh? I won't hold back. Alright. Hey! You were too much. I'm more. even stronger now. <sighs> Guess we made it out okay. Looks like we can take a break here. Let's lay low for a bit. Hey, we're back at the shopping center. What happened to you taking us to the Barracuda's hideout? What do you mean, what happened? See that runway? Keep going past that, and there's an elevator that leads right to it. It's over there? Looks like it's deserted. We've got a clear shot. To our impromptu guests. Now let's get this show on the road. First up, we got an all access look at our newest collection. And it's not just hot, it's to die for. Damn it! You assholes call this a fashion show? We're not here to turn heads, but I'll be happy to apply. I won't hold back. Come on. Ready it's all worked out now. It's over! <laughs> Let's go! Looks like I'm up. <laughs> cool. On some. Open one! For you, our prized autumn winter line. Follow my lead. All right. And now the grand finale. Put your hands together for our top model extraordinaire. Showtime's over, boys and girls. Say your prayer. Okay, I'm up. Don't get caught. Cool. Well, I'm waiting. What's the holdup? Let's rock. I won't hold back. All right. Ready when you are. Time to take out the trash. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. 
Learning more every day. <laughs> Doing better than I Who thought. Who knew I had it in me? Think I'm getting better at this. Get in. So, where does this thing go? You'll see when we get there. This is Crystal Aloha. Crystal Aloha? Crystal Aloha Resort Hotel. It's the swankiest hotel in Hawaii. What? <laughs> Crazy, right? This hotel's been top of its class for a hundred years. There's over 500 guest rooms, and the top floor's got views of the whole beach, all the way up to Diamond Head. It's practically the face of Hawaii. Man, what a trip! To think that elevator would lead all the way up here! At first, I couldn't believe it either. You saw the bidders down there, right? The ones who were all dressed up? There you go. This is how they get down there. Oh, so that's how they do it. So does the Barracuda's head honcho live here then? Yeah. He's got the whole top floor rented out as his own personal palace. And that's not even half of it. He keeps all of his top dogs up here, too. If they're holding a Kane-san captive, this is where we'll find her. This elevator only goes up to here, though. You mean we gotta switch to another elevator? Right. There's a guest elevator just outside. We can take that up. Follow me. Here she is! Hey! It's them! The guys who are stirring up shit underground! <sighs> Seriously? Busted already? Hey, yo, hey, yo, man, fuck that! Don't let any of these assholes leave! No getting around them. Let's break through! Rado, don't mess with me! Show me what you got. Okay, I'm up. Follow my lead. Woo! Ready when you are! It's over! Like I'm up. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 
learner. There's an elevator just past here. We can take that up to the 15th floor. Okay. We're right behind you, chi -chan. Hey, do you really not have any doubts? About what? Everything I'm telling you. Who knows? Maybe I'm following the boss's orders and leading you right into a trap. That ever cross your mind? I told you he was keeping me in his room, remember? I mean, think about it. I ripped you off once already. For all you know, the elevator's packed with a bunch of dudes with machine guns or something. Well, we'll go from there then. I'm sure it'll work out. What? I'm serious. I made the decision to trust you after all. That bites me in the ass, so what? What's up, Chi-chan? Sorry, I made a wrong turn. Huh? This whole area kinda runs together, so I made a mistake. We need to go this way. Hurry! Uh, right! just a dead end. Don't tell me you're lost. So you think, right? Now get a load of this. Whoa! A secret passage. Between this and all those lasers underground, the Barracudas must really want to keep people out. You have to if you want to survive in Hawaii's underworld. In we go. Pretty good. It works. You seriously? Oh, hello. Alright, let's go. Okay. <gasps> Follow my lead. Looks like I'm up. Uh, 
I'm actually doing too much. I think they're getting stronger. Whoa. I get ya. You're gonna regret this! Show me what you got. Damn it. You've been standing still wearing me out. Right. We send these assholes packing, then make them run for it. Something wrong? <laughs> Look at this little Prepare yourself! Ugh, poison. Sorry to drag my feet. Oh, this sucks. Well, I'm Open one. Oh, damn it. There's no way. Got you now. Peter, where are you? Hey, you in hell. And that's the one we look too much for. up the whole room. <laughs> Move your ass, Kasuga. Keep dragging it along and you're good as dead. Drink soon. Wait! Wait! You're really pissing me off! Let's do it! I'm just not feeling it. I'll take you on. Uh, boy, sorry to drag my feet. Come on! Oh, oh, sure, I'll play with you. Time to put you down! Oh god, I'm bleeding! Oh, get a part. Oh, yeah. Gotta hold it together. Oh, god. oh damn it, there's no way. Awesome. Ready when you are! Got you now! Looks like the gas hasn't made it this far. <gasps> I thought I was gonna die. <gasps> Should I open it? Got it! This is the door to the boss's suite. There's a good chance he'll be inside. And he calls the shots, huh? Must be a real scumbag. Let's make sure we're good and ready before we head in.
Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. What's funny is until last century, this place was nothing but a taro field, far as the eye could see. Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields, brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy ass resort built for some fancy ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fake can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country prosper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got guts betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's study? That was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Kasuka. It was right as you barged in. So I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger or a trap or something. That... I, am. Um, I meant it. What? She did. And it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here. Face to face with yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? <sighs> Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive, even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? <laughs> who gives? Dios mío. Who would have thought? A Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker. You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew you were just another spoiled brat. I figured I could use you. So I kept you around. <laughs> I could kill Kasika and the others anytime. But I drew you in for one simple reason. Their deaths would have been on you. And few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No. <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. <laughs> you bastard! Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. Here you go again, Ichiban. You sure you're not mad? What for? I made the choice to trust you, remember? <sighs> you really are an idiot, you know that? All right, enough chit-chat. 
Hey, hey, hang on. I still got unfinished business. Dwight, remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked, and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it, even though they had next to no evidence. Oh, you were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. So you admit it? You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? <laughs> Dwight, there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll do for you is offer you a way out. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle. Not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's time I showed you what this blade of mine can do! Ready to bleed?
healing up. Oh, Looks yeah. like I'm up. Here I come. Gotta be thorough. Don't let us go. I can do this. To the next level. Learning more every day. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Who knew I had it in me? Think I'm getting better at this. <sighs> Is Akane san here or not? All right, all right. I'll be straight with you. We were looking for her, but she never showed up. If you don't believe me, Feel free to search the whole floor. What do the Barracudas want with her? Honestly, I don't know. You're looking for her and don't even know why? It's not up to us. We got a request to look for her. We're just doing what we were asked. Request? Request from who? I don't know that either. They reached out to us anonymously. Sent it directly to my address. Seriously. Info like that doesn't leak easily, and they sent a million dollars down payment. If we succeed, we would have another nine million coming our way. That's ten million, just to find some woman. <laughs> sure, it was shady, but who would pass on that? Damn it. You don't know anything else? About Akane-san? About who the hell's chasing after her? If I knew any more, I would have told you already. Ain't that something? 
That's the most real thing you've said all day. I assume that about does it for all your Akane-san business, Kasuga? Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's my turn. <laughs> You give me a yes or a no. That crime I got locked up for. Was that you? Both the setup and bringing in a fall guy? It was your call? Answer me! Okay, okay! Yes, damn it! All right. So it was you. Do you have any idea how bad you fucked me over? And not just me! Wait, wait, stop, stop, wait, wait. Roman might be gone, but I can still wipe your criminal record easy. Just say the word. And I got money. A million. No, 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 ten million dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, hey, that'll give you a clean slate. And then some. You'll be set for life. Like hell I will! You think money's ever gonna bring my kid back? You think money's ever gonna bring you back? This lovely little number here goes viral. That's my promise. <sighs> well, I think that about wraps things up. Let's roll. You good now, Tomizawa? Honestly, I'd love to see him fry. But that it means sinking to his level. Plus, it's not like taking him out, it's spelled the end of the Barracudas. We don't know who might leak info about Chitose, right? Better to leave him alive. Keep everyone else in line. But why do this for me? Because, believe it or not, you saved my life too. <laughs> I may not get why, but you still betrayed Dwight. And let us right to him on top of it. We wouldn't be here without you. So, how about we call it even? Between you and Ichiban, I had enough debt as it was. I figured I'd strike one off the list. <laughs> when the hell do you get so cool, Tommy? <laughs> I've always been cool, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> Cool how we ended up here after going through a dump like District 5. How can you be so chill? We nearly got chopped up by the Barracuda's boss with next to nothing to show for it. Only one who got any business done was me. Yeah, but ain't that worth it? A win for you's a win for the team. Speaking of, 
Our team just grew by one. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you got a funny definition of teamwork. Oh, is that how it's gonna be? I helped you in the end, didn't I? Yeah, and because of that, we're still breathing. You did us a solid there. My pleasure. It's nice to meet someone so open-minded. I'd say Tommy here has his work cut out for him. Damn it, Ichiban. You'll pal around with just about anyone, won't you? She did risk her life to save ours, even if it didn't start out that way. Besides, we want to find Akane-san. We'll need all the help we can get. Sounds like you're in my corner then. Sure you won't ditch me the moment you find her? <laughs> I should hope not. Personally, I don't mind a loose cannon, as long as they're on my side. I suppose I should take that as a compliment. Ah, fine. I guess if anyone's guilty of anything, it's me. <laughs> I even held a gun at Ichiban at one point. <laughs> See? Even backstabbers like us can come around. Yeah, that said, it still doesn't mean I have to trust you. Or like you. Uh, why not? I like you, Tomy. Yeah, sure. You gotta be hiding something. And I'm gonna find out why. I can smell a secret from a mile away. Oh, come on. A girl's gotta have at least one good secret. Or two. Here, why don't we just start over? Okay, but I'll be watching. One slip up, and it's over. Watch me all you want. It looks like mine. I'm used to it. Ooh, she got you good. How do you like that burn, Tommy? <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Guess that settles it. Chichan, you're one of the gang. Good to have you. Good to be here. Don't tell me I'm supposed to make a speech now. <clears throat> the name's Chitose Fujinomiya. There. Kasuga-san. Thanks. Ichiban, do you use coconut oil? I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, well, that shop over there has the best stuff. Makes your skin silky smooth. You should give it a try while you're still here. It's like magic. Not sure an old guy like me needs to worry about silky smooth skin at this point. No way. Taking care of yourself is always important. A well-kept man is attractive. No kid. Hmm. Guess having softer skin would be nice. Yep. Better than going soft in the head. We're really opening up. Aloha! Ooh, I'm starving. Let's oh, dig in. What are we waiting for? I see you ordered every last coconut on the menu. Hey, man, we're in Hawaii. And nothing screams Hawaii like coconuts. That's just basics. You really associate coconuts with Hawaii. I never have, but I can see where you might get that idea. Right. On the flip side, if you were in Japan, I'm sure you'd have a whole list of iconic things you'd want to try. Mm, for example? 
Uh, let's see. Uh, sushi, for one. Uh, tempura, and Mount Fuji? Sushi, I can understand. But what does Mount Fuji got to do with food? My bad. I guess it's kind of hard to come up with examples as a native. Well, I'm sure there's a lot out there, though. Well, there are definitely attractions that are more geared toward tourists. Things locals usually don't give a crap about. I guess you're right. But wait, does that mean you don't like coconuts? No, I eat them all the time. Even my soap is coconut-based. Woo! Was about to panic there. <laughs> Jeez, Ichiban. That is the happiest I've seen you all day. Keep living your best coconut-filled life, Tomi. Uh, sure? Go. Yeah, Don't my plate. Thank you. Yes. this for sure all right boys Charge! remember have fun out there the other team looks pretty good we're just warming up time to shake things up let's go <laughs> nicely done <laughs>
guys ready for this? Assume battle positions. Time for a shoot, you must battle! Remember, have fun out there! Oh, oh you, you got ready. this! Yeah. Nicely yeah. done! Hey. Excuse me? Considering the lineup, nothing personal. Or their life choices. Yeah! Considering a pinch hitter. Any maybe. last words? Folks, I'm getting the Sujimon Super Jitters. Back to the drawing board, huh? Here I come. Ooh. Holy shit! Can you feel that energy? Suji's got a special incoming! Got you now! Uh, Suji goes to sleep! Or goes to hell, one or the other! This will shut you up! Uh. Here I come! Uh. Uh. Is that one dead? Someone check if they're dead! 
tension is thick. Good thing Sujimon aren't paid by the hour. My goodness! The trainer's reconsidering the lineup. Who are their life choices? Take this. Suji mm. goes to sleep! Or goes to hell, one or the other. Considering a pinch hitter, I may die. Both trainers are considering their options intently. Fight on! Gotcha! Suji special! Oh. Huge damage! What an absolutely incredible performance by the team! Costco wins the acclaim, and his Sujimon avoid prison for another day! Have a great night, sports fans! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! No. Ha <laughs> 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 
You know, the trolley makes Hawaii feel more foreign to me. It's different from when you're just walking around. Yeah. Wait, what? How? It's the same old Hawaii. Tell me, get on the bus in Japan sometime. You'll see. Japan? <laughs> if I'm ever there. Now, nah, I'll take you. Kasuga's neighborhood bus trip, you and me. We'll get off at a random stop and just wander around. Never really thought riding the trolley made for a day out. Ichiban's walking tour of Japan does sound too good to miss. <laughs> Doesn't it? Welcome aboard!